And now we're into part five of spinner baits. You ready to run and gun? It's time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Passing 101. Part five of my meat and taters spare baits, so to speak. This week we're going to do tandem willa. Now tandem willa basically means a Colorado in the front, willa leaf in the back. That's what tandem willa is. It's like if you have a tandem Indiana, you have an Indiana back here. But it always means you got a Colorado in the front and then whatever blades in the back. So these are tandem willas. Again, I keep saying this every single week. I use nickel blades, okay? I don't I don't do colors in these spinner baits. It just keeps the choice simple. I just match either the blade size or the skirt to it. And I I try to match my skirts with the size of the blades. So you have to, you know, like if you fish a clear water spinner bait, you know, I choose a little bit smaller willow leaf. And these are the fluted blades, like I showed you last week on the double Colorado I had, the chartreuse and white, because these give off the least amount of flash compared to, say, a, a diamond willow leaf. A lot more flash right there. But you know, I do have the diamond willow leaves, but I've also got, these came out, I think, around 1983. These are the Strike King willow spins, and they have the bigger blade they got like about number four in the front a big old number about number six in the back you notice this is chartreuse and lime this to me is one of my muddy water spinner baits just like with the black I've got the same thing the big number four in the front and I got the bigger little leaf in the back so that's um, that didn't spin very well did it because it had the blade in the way there you go and even with the flutes, it still puts off flash. So I really don't mind that one way or the other. But now, you know, this is another version of the willow spin. Um, this has a little bit smaller willow leaf in the back, a little smaller Colorado in the front. Um, actually, I believe these were called the willow leaf models. You know, this is one of the first ones to come out um, from the willow leaf around early, very early 80s. And um, Again, chartreuse and white, and this is what I would use for clear water. You can get a little more stained water, now I'll get into the diamond blades, but again, these aren't as big either. Same thing with chartreuse and blue. It has a little bit bigger diamond blade in the back. This is about a number four and a half. These are number four. And uh, it, a little bit more flash off that dude with chartreuse and blue. You know, Chartreuse and blue is one of those kind of colors. It works about anywhere. Yeah, clear water, muddy water. It's just really, you know, I, I call it the Hank Parker, Jimmy Houston color. <laughs> That's what I call that. And there's also chartreuse blue and white, which is also a really good combination. But you can't carry them all. It just depends on what mood you're in. And believe it or not, a lot of this just depends on what mood I'm in. Now, when do you use a tandem willow? Well, to me, a tandem willow is one of those blades, or one of those kind of spinner baits, when you're not really sure what to throw. You know, I said this with the quarter ounce video I did, that if you don't know what kind of spinner bait you want to throw, start off with a tandem willow. That's probably going to be your best bet. And then you can kind of dial it in from there. Maybe, you know, maybe the kind of water you're fishing might work better with a single thumper, or maybe the depth of water you're using, you might want to go with a different kind of blade, or maybe the wind's blowing, you might want a little bit more flash, maybe go to a double willow. Um, you just kind of have to, you know, play the game on the water and figure out what you want to throw. A lot of times, it's just what mood I'm in. And the mood that you're in, it all comes down to confidence. You know, if, that's, you know, if I'm in the mood to, uh, well, you know, I might have clear water, but man, I sure do like to look right now with that chartreuse line with that big old blade right there. Got a little bit of wind down here. Let's throw this and see what happens. That's your confidence level. You have all five of these spinner baits. 
with the same five colors I've always had. This is a 3 8 right here. But if I just get in that mood where, you know what, I just want to throw that right there. Throw it. You know, there's no set rule book. I'm just giving you ideas of when I use certain certain colors. You know, because there's sunlight, cloud, night, muddy water, clear water, stained water. You know, it's up, it's up to you. I'm just kind of giving you a guideline of how, of how I use these different colors. I, like I said before, the chartreuse white, chartreuse lime and white are more of my clearer water type colors. But you can also throw this in muddy water, the chartreuse and white. A lot of guys use just straight chartreuse and white and muddy water. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I said go for it. I'm just, you know, I, I just use it just in clear waters because it gives me a couple of different color hues. Again, you know, like I said a couple of videos ago, is why I don't use white by itself or chartreuse by itself because with a rubber skirt, it's solid. It's a bold color. And I just rather have a couple of colors dancing around in that skirt as it's fluttering through the water like that. A you know, silicone skirt doesn't have as much action as these, especially if you spray these dudes with line of rail magic. And, you know, again, I can use this in clear water especially on a windy day. It's got that big old willow leaf right there. And I can throw this in, you know, on a windy day, get some more flash out of it. Um, or if I've got really shallow water and a lot of cover, that big old willow leaf there might might play play the game for you. But the, the tandem willow is, hands down, probably the best choice to go to if you don't know what you want to throw. Because it can pretty much do it all. You can still take a willow leaf and flutter it as I've explained to you before. This is actually a half ounce right here. But you can explain, you know, like I explained before, you can take a willow leaf and flutter it, but you can't flutter it as slow as you can in Colorado because you'll tend to kill that blade back here. It's not going to kind of go like this in the water instead of spinning on its axis. You know, it'll have a tendency to do this as you're fluttering it, then it will be bad if you put some speed on it. So not the best blade to flutter, but you can flutter these. I do it all the time. So it's, you just have to keep it moving. You know, the double Colorado, you can actually kill it, stop it, kill it, stop it, and that back blade will still keep on going. But the willow leaf, you do have to keep it moving. But that's tandem willow, guys. Probably the most, uh, yeah, if I'm not sure what I want to use, it's the, it's the most, versatile spinner bait as far as well, if I don't know what to throw because you can do a lot with these. Um, one advantage to a double to a, a tandem willow is it's a good surface bait. You, know, you can really burn this thing fast across the surface and it's also good for fishing deeper. I mean if you you can fish this thing 20-25 foot deep if you want to. You know, once you cast it out let it sink to the bottom always keep a tight line though let it sink to the bottom, pop it one time, and just start to slow crank it, and that's a really good deep water spinner bait. But it could be used at all the water columns. And again, it has the most flash. And does it have as much vibration as a color, double Colorado? No. But these bigger blades like this, you'll feel them. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You'll feel them. I could feel them. I could feel a, dub, uh, a tandem willow. Um, and it still has a little torque, regardless. But again, it doesn't have the vibration in Colorado it has. But again, if you if you don't know what to throw when you get out there, a tandem willow is really hard to beat. It really is. It kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It's a good intermediate spinner bait. And that's all I got today, guys, for that right there. Just the tandem willow spinner bait. So until next time. May the Father bless you and keep you in Yeshua's name. And as always, fish on.